All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. And sometimes you just gotta listen. So these screws that are in these holes do have to come out because they're what holds this on, as you can see through there. There's a little tab. So I tried to pull this out and bent the tabs a little bit. So all these gotta come out. Once they come out, this whole thing just comes off. And that's pretty much it. I'll take them all out. Hopefully you don't lose them. They'll probably just fall in there anyway. And then it should be all right. See that one? Where are you at? There you go. <clears throat> and we'll get that one over there, and then it should come off, and we should be in there. So, all the follow directions the first time around. Just did what they said do instead of trying to do a shortcut. We might have been putting this together by now. Oop, dropped that one too. All right. All right, we took the few screws out. We're gonna find them. Pulled that thing off. Yeah, I guess you can take all the screws out. There's one, they fall in there. And so what we gotta do is, there's a clip should be a clip at least. There's a clip at the end. We gotta, oh, can you see it? At the end of that thing, there's a clip. We need to take that clip off so we can slide these poles off. Then, put the new motor in. Where we at, where we at, where we at? Guess you can, maybe see that clip at the end, right over there. Get some pliers, take that clip off, slide the poles off, new motor, and start the reassembly process. That should be it. So, but for those of you trying to do this, take all this apart first. Every video I've seen or blog I've discussed, they said, take this off to make life easier. And I didn't listen. This makes life a lot easier and it's easy. After you do it, you figure that out. Okay, about to take that clip out, slide these poles off, change the motor, put it back in, and that's about it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got that off. Now we're gonna we unplug that one. We're gonna unplug this one, put the new one in there, and Go about our business. Try to get the same angle. Hopefully, put this one on and put it back together and call it a day. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we put the motor back on. Put the three screws back in. That those are 10 millimeters. Now we're gonna on the bottom one. We're gonna put the that little uh, what do you call it? It's funny when I do the videos, I don't remember nothing. The ground wire, put the ground wire on and screw that back on to that one. And then plug the wires, electrical wires back in there on the black one and the bottom. And that'll be it for that part. All right, we put this back on, it went on pretty easy. We had to slide it back and forth to get it lined up. So we're gonna put these, we pushed it underneath, it's almost, under there, you can see right there, we're gonna push it some more on this side, and then we're gonna put these screws back in. So if you just pushed it like that, it'll go in, no problem. Then we'll screw these down and continue. So we push it, screw it, push it, screw it. And then we'll put that back together down there and be done. 
All right, this would be a better video if I would have just did everything right the first time, like we said, but we got this back on. There's, I think there's five of these. We got four, one of them we lost it. That's back in there, easy peasy. We put this on, four screws, easy peasy. On, tucked under. Now we just need to put the rubber piece back on. Rubber piece will put the holes back in there at the same time everything else is in there screwed tight plugged in a couple of screws and we did the end screws first before we put those top screws on there to line it up a little bit so end screws we'll push it back keep it tight and that's it